Good morning, friends. It is Wellness Wednesday, and I am Angie coming at you um, with some tips for wellness. Um, so if you are watching live, if you're catching me live, please say hello in the comments. Um, just love to, to see who I am connecting with and be able to say hi. If you're watching the replay, please type in replay. Um, so again, it's Wellness Wednesday, and I uh, want to just bring a... Uh, an idea concept about wellness um, to you and um, what what I was reminded of a quote my mentor Sachin Patel likes to say and I love it and it is consistency carbs canyons so when you think about something like the Grand Canyon right it was developed over so many 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 years and it was the result of water flow over all of those years and that 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 water flow was sometimes a, a roaring river and sometimes maybe just a little trickle but there was a continuous flow there was a continuous uh, effort and flow of water that created that canyon and when we think about what we want to change in our health sometimes it might seem like it's just such a big thing that we want to change we might we might want to lose so much weight we just can't even fathom that it's possible to do that or maybe we have a health diagnosis that just seems so monumental to overcome and we just don't see how we're going to get there the the, the end feels so far away that it just makes the first step seem um, like what, what's the point almost and so I, I just want to give you that that image of the Grand Canyon being formed over so many centuries and that it was sometimes a roaring river and sometimes just a little trickle. And, and that's the way we are in life, right? We're not always going to have the energy for, um, you know, the, the full workout or, um, you know, making, you know, making the, the hundred percent effort, but sometimes we have 50%, sometimes we have 25%. Um, so get out there and, and do something and be consistent with an effort even if it's just a even if it's just a small effort some days like i tell my clients if you don't have time to do the 30 minute walk that you wanted to do do you have time for for 10 minutes do you have time for 5 minutes do you have time to just go outside and walk around the block sometimes we have to just break it down into really small nuggets of effort just to be consistent so this morning I got up and, and immediately just started getting to work and forgot all about my yoga routine. And I um, was reminded by uh, my, my mentor when I listened to his Facebook Live today about um, the things that produce dopamine, how to increase dopamine naturally. And, and he reminded me about getting outside in the morning for, for, for direct morning light. And so I came outside and I was out here on my porch doing my yoga to get my morning light and to be consistent with my yoga practice and I feel so much better when I do that and I started getting consistent again after the new year and my body already feels better and I don't do a full yoga routine every time sometimes I have time for 20 minutes or 30 minutes sometimes I have time for 10 minutes and I have my go-to poses that I know make my body feel better and I'm just I'm consistent with that so I encourage you to just think about how you can be consistent with an effort, even if it's not always like the 100% of, uh, of what you want. Sometimes it's 50, sometimes it's 25, but you're consistently out there making the effort for whatever it is you want for your health. Consistency carves canyons. It's the consistent effort that's gonna get us where we wanna get to. We just need to be, um, we need to congratulate ourselves. We need to celebrate those small efforts and and feel good about making even even little efforts because it's all moving you the direction that you want to get to. If if the if you're if you're not making any steps because you feel like you're all or nothing and you're thinking if you can't do the full thing then you're not going to do any. You're never going to get anywhere because we're human and we're not always going to have a hundred percent. So think about how you can break things down so that you can be consistent and you can celebrate those efforts even when they're not the the full thing. So. Um, so that's what I wanted to bring to you today. Consistency carves canyons. Just be consistent with an effort and, and congratulate and celebrate those efforts. Um, and you will move yourself forward and you will start to see that forward momentum and that will be motivating and gratifying. And um, that's the kind of energy that we want. So 
Um, happy New Year to everybody, and I hope you're off to a great start. I hope to be bringing you some really helpful tips um, this year for your health, things that are accessible and don't cost a lot of money or just things you can do in your day-to-day -day life because really that's what, it's, that's what it's all about. We all have the capacity to heal. We all have the capacity to have the best possible health and we just have to support our bodies to do that. So I um, wish you a wonderful Wednesday. Love to you all. Bye-bye.